Hey everybody, it's Adam again, and this how-to is flip out drawers. I've never once heard of anybody complain about having too much storage space. So here's what you can get. They come in different sizes. Inside is going to be hinges and screws, two bags, and two trays for your drawer. Some instructions and a little template. Now, like I said, they come in two sizes. So you got short ones and longer ones. Um, first thing you have to do is take out your face here of your drawer, your fake drawer. And this one was installed with really uh, wimpy staples. That's it. So they're pretty easy to knock out. Here under the sink you can see it's stapled into the top and the bottom. And if I even just push with my fingers, you can see it's coming out. Now if I just slam it out, I might split the wood still. So I'm just going to grab a hold of this plastic and pull it towards me, towards the inside, not pushing out. There you go. The template they give you is just this little piece of paper. It's a two-part template. Here it shows you where the bottom is. I'm just going to put it right here, line it up against this edge and mark a circle where this hole is and a circle where that hole is. I'm going to flip it around and do it on this side. And you take your hinges This one goes on this side, and this one goes on this side. You can tell by the way this is facing. Also, it has an L on it for the left, stamped right there. I always drill pilot holes first. Alright, these uh, screws here are the ones you use for the hinge and these pan head screws are the ones you use for the drawer alright now they give you this template for lining up these screw holes with where they should go on the face of the drawer but I don't really trust that so instead I'm going to place this on here and from the back I'm just going to write with a pencil where the holes are. So first I line it up and if you have somebody else who can help you with this part that would be a lot easier but if not just do it by hand like this. You line it up so that it's level with the other drawers. You don't want this one being a lot higher than the others. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to hold it on really tight. Go underneath. And I'm just drawing little, little marks where they would screw in. Now I'm going to do some more pilot holes and I'm using a 1 8 inch bit. And now you can go ahead and line up where you need to put the holes for the drawer and drill some pilots for that as well. Basically goes in the middle, you know, equal distance top to the bottom and equal distance to the sides. Okay, I put the screws in all the way and then loosened them so that it's uh, a lot easier to put the drawer in later. First I'm going to screw these in and then I'm going to, uh, once this is already attached, I'm going to put this slot in. You'll see in a second. Alright, next is 
getting uncomfortable under the seat and screwing in these to here with the pilot holes that you hopefully already made. And that's upside down. Alright, when you're done tightening those screws, it should open and close without any grinding or scratching noises. See, it's pretty quiet. If you hear grinding, then it's that these are misaligned. So you need to um, unscrew just barely both of these on each side and then allow this to realign. You can open it and close it. Allow these to slip to where they need to go and then tighten it until you don't hear any grinding noises. Now we just take this and because we left the screws on it just slips in and we tighten it a little bit. Now I can't reach. No, I can. Let's see. Yeah. It's really awkward so hopefully you got a stubby screwdriver like this. Ugh. And there you go, easy as that. Then you can pick whatever handle you want and uh, you're done. I hope this video has helped you. If so, please click like and I'll be doing more. So if you want to see more videos, home repairs, things like that, uh, click subscribe. Thanks, have an awesome day.